Welcome back to Let's Play Revelations, the DLC chapter for Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Forbidden Wing, where Trevor hopes to find his uh, father's... <clears throat> WTF. Where Trevor hopes to find his father's Chaos Claws and bring them back to him. Can't be that simple, can it? Maybe. A few feet can make a difference, I guess. No, it can't be that simple. Um. Close enough. Oh, I see. Demon. Human. This guy, look, this guy looks like, you know, I like that the demon looks like he's in quiet contemplation of the, uh, the vase. And this guy just looks like he's going, COME ON! In fact, I'm going to save a screenshot, and that's the caption I'm going to put on it. And now. Oh. It was uh, pointed out in the comments that, uh. Oh, uh, what the hell? Wouldn't those things would totally float? They're made of wood. I just wanted out in the comments that uh, Alucard is decidedly less fond of maiming himself to activate doors and as such. Oh god! Less uh, fond of doing, doing it than his father, anyway. Boy, that was a, ra a hassle and a half. I'll say this. Being able to fly short, even short distances, sure saves a lot of time. Looks like he's just sticking the pointy thumb on his gauntlet straight through the armor. Was the other vase splashed with the blood like this one is? I want to see something. thought so. These don't sink from the, uh, I guess the, the spectral wolf doesn't actually weigh anything, because it's not a physical entity. Uh, there was a bit earlier where I realized too late that I should have just left Elucard on the shore and taken the wolf the whole way across. For safety's sake. I don't like that sound. Oh. I really like the animation there. They didn't need to do that. They could have just had him standing there. But instead they have him just standing there all wobbly like he's in a trance. I don't think I missed any goodies in this room. Oh! Jesus, I almost jumped down. Ah, uh, fuck. 
Do you wonder how he died? Yoink! Carl's weariness. I'm tired of wandering through the rooms of this damned castle, one after another. The blood that envelops it never stops trying to devour me, and although I know the way out, I still haven't got the energy. The problem seems simple. Put weight on the pressure mechanism, and run towards the door before it closes, or the blood engulfs the path. However, it gets more complicated with each new room I discover, and I don't think I'm fast enough to get past this final challenge. Well, rest in peace, Carl. You finally earned your rest. Looks like there could be a fight here. Let's charge up on maximum power. That's interesting. Kinda creepy, but interesting. Let me guess. This is problematic. I'm just going to keep lugging it with me because I don't know where the thing is. And uh, hopefully it'll be closer to the thing I need to get it to. I can't actually jump here. Never mind. Let's leave it where I found it. Let's see what happens if I'm holding it when it runs out, huh? I love that static effect. Wait. Uh. Oh, I can't use the time ability while I've uh, already got something timed. Yes, that is the proper verb. Interesting. I've seen a few games that have uh, mechanisms vaguely similar to that, you know, where you use some kind of time travel device to change something ruined to a state that it was in in the past. I've seen games you can, you know, toggle back and forth. You know, so you can fix an ancient computer bank in order to access its memory, and then break it again in order to walk through the wall it was uh, in front of. Because there's a big hole in it. But, uh... I have never seen one where you could move an item and do that, and then if you changed it back, it would go back to where it was. Oops. Alright, why am I here? Where am I going to jump over there? Oh. I don't know why that worked, but it worked in my favor. Eh, not really. Let's just go back down. No! Oh lord, that was close. Golly gee, that was stupid of me. Oh 
Okay, problematic, since I can't possibly get that thing over here. I can't bats with that thing on, can I? Time! No, I can't. Oh! Fuck off. Great. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. Great. You had almost no forward jump distance at all. That is probably the entire fucking game. Like that that was already really close time I throwing a fucking uh flamethrower in there for no other reason than to interrupt your, uh... Interrupt your, uh, casting of the ability, I guess. The, um... It can't help but stand out by this point that, uh... Oh, there we go. I made it where that soldier couldn't. Oh, you guys. I couldn't help but notice... ...that, uh... Boy, that's annoying. Nope. Okay, I'll just wail on you then. How do you feel about that? A knife to the throat. Um. What the fuck is I gonna say? Yes! Oh, hey, shit, it's the Gorgons. I'm here. I was gonna say that the, uh. It's really weird to me that they put no uh, statues in this uh, DLC at all. You know, no health statues, rather. There are plenty of statues. But, um... They've made it so that the only ways you can regain health are from, uh... This and the uh, tears relic. How do you like it, bitch? A short distance stab with uh, unblockable power. Yeah, how do you like it, bitch? Ha <laughs> That was a summary, not me to repeating myself because I couldn't think of anything better to say. When I can't think of anything to say, I descend into abject uh, puerility, like I would have called him a uh, festering scrote wagon or something. Oh hey, you're dead. Shank! Right in the organs! God, 
don't! Huh. How do you contain someone else's rage? It is done, Mother. surprised he can contain Fury. Sure seems like Trevor Belmont is the bringer of hope. Gabriel's going to need this rage if he's going to save the world. For it is a righteous wrath. Burning Chaos. I must return to the city and protect my father from his enemies. Burning Chaos. Recover the Chaos Relic in, Re in Revelations. You take good care of it, you hear me? Don't you let those Gorgons get their hands on it. really wants me to get this, I guess. Sure! Let me see. It's a nice move. Gentlemen, at ease. I must return to the city and protect my father from his enemies. Right, right. This is in my place. <laughs> I remember this room! I'm just wondering that there's nothing here. There's supposed to be a dungeon key lock here. I was kind of wondering with that. I do get to come back. But do I not come to come back here? I don't know where I'm going to be going in order to uh, talk to Marie. Maybe this gets selected because I'm not, you know, there. Let's go back to this ugly place. I only found the one secret box. doesn't usually happen. <laughs> hey. Arr. 
Berg? Ah! Thank you, Dodo! You found a life secret box. Your health capacity has increased. Let's do it again, I guess. I can hear it from here, so it's not that far away. I have not the time. Actually, come around and just walk out here. Oh, well, would you look at that? Mmm! Thank you, Dodo. You found another life secret box. Your health capacity has increased. Completely unprecedented! Two in one episode. Two of those in one episode, I mean. I think once or twice in the main game I found, uh... Uh oh. Yeah, I think once or twice in the main game I managed to find, uh... Oop, need that. Oh, I thought that was another Dodo egg. Yes, yes, I was trying to see magic upgrades. Jesus. Finally got it out. Oh, come on. Be reasonable. I was going to murder you anyway. I'm a good guy. Jesus, fuck. Are you done? Good. There, now you get to die. Good night, crazy. And that's triple penetration. I am a child. <laughs> Amazing. Well, in any event, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 uh, DLC Revelations. When I continue scouring the Forbidden Wing, for goods and services. Later!